If the compound interest for two years is to 810 and the simple interest for two years at the same rate and same principle is 720, then find the approximate difference between SI and CI for three years at the same rate and same principle. So we are going to use the table for simple interest and compound interest relation when principal and rate of interest are same. So for simple interest, the interest is throughout A. For compound interest, it's A, A, A. In the second year, you have A plus B. In the third year, you have A plus 2B plus C. A and B, the way they are related by whatever percentage or share or fraction, the same percentage or fraction is how B and C are related. So we are going to use this table to make the calculation easier. As per the question, it is given that simple interest and compound interest for two years is 720 and 810. So this is going to be 720 when each of the values is 360. That means if you compare A is 360, that means we need to have 360 over here also because we do have A on under CI as well. But how much shall we add so that it becomes 810? Because so far we have only 720. Definitely we need to add 90 here. So that 360, 360, 90, it matches with AAB as well as the sum is 810. Now, the relation between 360 and 90 is that 90 is one fourth of 360. So the same relation is going to be between B and C as well. So all we need to do is copy the values. For the third year, it's going to be 360. Under component test, it will be 360 plus two times 90. And then plus, we are going to have one fourth of 90 as well. So half of 90 is 45. Half of further 45 is going to be 22.5. So now the question is, what is the difference between CI and SI for three years? As in what, if you, if you compare 360, 360, 360 is under SI, 360, 360, 360 is under CI. So can we say the extra component is over here, which is 90 plus two into 90 plus 22.5. So this is 270 plus 22.5, which is 292.5. The closest option is C option.